Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In recent weeks, we have seen many examples of how the strong delusion has continued to thrive among Trump supporters. Instead of this cult of personality around Trump weakening since his election loss, it has actually become stronger and more entrenched. Today, I just want to briefly look at one more example that plainly demonstrates that loyalty and allegiance to Trump is more important than the actual truth. And this example is a video that you may have just heard about. This past week saw the release of a video called Absolute Proof, by Mark Lindell, the My Pillow guy. The two-hour video purports to show evidence that the 2020 election was stolen from Trump, but what is presented as evidence is actually just a rehashing of previously debunked theories. For example, the video claims that there were over 10,000 cases of dead people voting in Georgia. This is completely untrue and has been debunked numerous times. Georgia officials have publicly stated that the allegation is not supported by any evidence, and in fact they only identified two potential cases of a vote being cast in a dead person's name. Lindo also refers to 100,000 ballots in Wisconsin being backdated by the U.S. Postal Service. This allegation is based on a statement by a man named Ethan Pease, who was a temporary part-time employee of a post office subcontractor. Pease claimed to have been told by another post office employee, someone named Rachel, that the post office was backdating ballots. Not only is Pease's claim not actual evidence that 100,000 ballots in Wisconsin were backdated by the post office, but it's not even relevant. Wisconsin doesn't even go by the date that ballots are postmarked, but by when they are received. Other previously debunked theories included in the Absolute Proof video are the Hammer and Scorecard hoax, an accusation that votes were manipulated in Antrim County, Michigan, that China, Germany, Spain, and the United Kingdom all played a role in manipulating results in the battleground states, and on and on. I won't go through each of the theories in this video one by one because, frankly, they've already been debunked numerous times. And if you believe that they are true despite them being debunked, there is nothing more than I can say that would convince you otherwise. The problem with his video is that it's a perfect example of what's called a logical fallacy. Its conclusion of a stolen election is based on a number of individual allegations, but those individual allegations simply do not stand up under close examination. And sadly, I think Lindell inwardly knows that the individual allegations do not hold up under scrutiny, but is counting on the length of the video at over two hours to be an argument unto itself. More importantly, the Absolute Proof video is a perfect example of the type of end-time delusion that we see running so rampant among Trump supporters. We see that loyalty to Trump is more important than the truth. We see that Trump must be defended no matter what, and any Republican criticizing Trump must be immediately denigrated. Mike Lindell's video is a prime example of truth being thrown to the ground. Too many Trump supporters simply love Trump more than they love the truth. And because they do not love the truth, they have been given over to a strong delusion. That's all for today. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch. And if you care to leave a comment, please do. As always, please be respectful in any comment you leave. Take care.